Tia. That's how I start off my show. Hey beautiful souls, it's your girl Love Tia and today I'm trying out a new setup. I'm trying a whole tripod phone situation for my YouTube videos. Let's see how this works. I feel like I'll just produce more content if I have an easier setup to be honest with you. Today's episode is all about how liberated creating boundaries and sticking to those boundaries have made me feel during my celibacy journey and just in life in general. Now, if you have tuned into my podcast, you know that I was very vocal about the things I've experienced while being celibate. I guess maybe some people would consider me not to be celibate because I've experienced like foreplay or whatever the case may be, but that's literally it and it wasn't even good. So I feel like it doesn't count. Also, ooh, who told me that? Was it in person? I think it was a comment on TikTok. Somebody was like, um, yeah, I was told like if the sex was bad or if like whatever, the foreplay was bad or the head was bad, like they don't count as a body. And I'm like, if that's the case, I'm a virgin. Except for a lesbian world where I then would count someone. So, anywho's. I want to talk about celibacy and I want to create a whole series about this, this, that, and the third. But I really want to talk about boundaries first. Um, because there has been a reoccurring thing uh, in my life when it comes to either... Okay, let me start over. I was in an abusive relationship, which I talk about in episode two of my podcast, which is coming out soon, or maybe out already whenever you watch this. And one of the things that I took away from that relationship was how important boundaries are. And my therapist is actually the person that taught me that. And I think that that was just like a, just a, a, a defining moment where I realized like, wow, had I set these boundaries and stuck to these boundaries, right? Cause you got, you can set them, but you have to stick to them and have somebody else like see if that, uh, if your partner or somebody else follows those boundaries as well or respects those boundaries. Anyways, I think that I was really scared to date because I was scared to one, have to create these boundaries and two, have to have somebody else abide by them. And three, have the trust in myself to know that the boundaries I'm creating are boundaries that I can stick to and vice versa. Uh, and I realize now that that can actually make dating a lot more fun. When you have boundaries, it's very easy to knock people out faster than originally when you don't have boundaries, you don't really know what you're looking for and the person is just like kind of doing the bare minimum and you're like, well, I don't really know what I want or how I feel or what I deserve. So that's where boundaries come in. Boundaries that tell me everything that I want, everything that I feel and everything I deserve. Maybe not everything because I'm still learning that and deciphering through it, but overall, I feel like I'm doing a pretty damn good job. An example of a time where I set a boundary and then didn't stick to that boundary once it was broken, and this is before I was in therapy, so let's keep this in mind, was in the beginning of my very first relationship, we, I, created a hard boundary. It's just two straight up things. One, don't cheat on me. Two, don't put your hands on me. And the craziest part about it is that he actually made an amendment to the not cheating thing and was like, yeah, so, you know, and cheating means texting too, right? Like no cheating via text as well, right? And I'm like, yeah, like whatever the fuck you mean that you're not gonna disrespect the relationship with another person, don't do that. Like that's what cheating is, you know? Why don't they do semantics? But yes, texting as well. Of course, both of those things, as you heard in my podcast, got um, shitted on. So my boundaries were, were gone at that point. Any, any, any type of boundary I tried to put up, how would he respect that for me? Now I deserve the respect, but how would he respect it when I, my two biggest boundaries are broken and I stayed? So that, you know, if I had to use those three years as like tuition for just life, then it is what it is. And I feel like I learned a lot of lessons from it, right? Now fast forward to me dating and realizing how important these, these boundaries are. I think that the part that was missing even after my relationship when trying to, to manage boundaries was listening to that gut instinct now here's an example of how i created a boundary and that was just kind of overwritten as well but the outcome was different i'm not about to say that i'm back on facebook dating and hinge but it was only for two days y'all i was only on facebook dating and hinge for two days four max probably but they're both deleted now if you look me up you can't find me good thing you can't look me up though i literally had to like block people that like i had previously messaged i'm like you don't see me you don't see me uh, but there was this guy, and I hate when conversations go like this. It started out with me. I think he reached out to me and said, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, I'm doing great. How you doing? Regular, regular, regular. Then he says, are you down to, like, meet up or whatever? And I'm like, no, he asked me for my IG first. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's fine. And then he's like, I'd love to take you. Oh, he asked. Nope. I'm sorry. Let's rewind. <laughs> he asked me what I like to do. And then I gave him a list of what I like to do. He then asked me for, for my Instagram. I gave him my Instagram. And then he said he wanted to take me out. And he was like, we should do one of those things that are on my list. He's like, we can go to the park and go out to eat. And at this point, if you're taking me out to eat, for real, for real, we're going to a vegan restaurant. We're going to a vegan, why not? 
you want to take me out to eat and my ass is vegan. So we're going to a vegan restaurant. If you don't like that, you are definitely not the motherfucking one for me. So he says, well, let me get your phone number and we can, you know, let me, can you send me your phone number? Now I know that I said I was going to hang out with him, but he just asked me for my Instagram and I just gave it to him and he did not follow me yet. So I know nothing about you at this point. Like, I don't know anything about you. I, I think I asked him like what he was into. He told me and then that's when he led into the whole let's go on a date thing. I say all of this to say, I then reply, well, I don't feel comfortable giving my number out, you know, to people I just met. I'm, I'm down to get to know you on Instagram, though. And then, you know, when it gets close to the time of us meeting up, we can definitely exchange numbers. Because I know that it's going to happen, but it needs to happen on my terms, on my time, because I already gave you my Instagram, right? So why do you need both? If you just wanted to get my number, then go for my number. Why are you leading up to it with my Instagram? He then replies, well, I'm kind of old-fashioned and would like to get you, like to get to know you over the phone, so if you could send me your number, okay, well, I understand that. But if you want to, if, you, if you're just trying to hear my voice and make sure I'm real, there, isn't there Instagram calls now? And there's Instagram um, video chat. So there's no real need for, there's no real need for, for me to uh, call you over the phone, for you to have my phone number specifically. Because I need to figure out if you're crazy. Because I've given people my number in the, sorry, my alarm went off. I've given my phone number to people in the very beginning on dating apps and they've gone psycho. Within like the day, within the day. So I was like, no. So I did that. That was my final straw, and I deleted both Facebook dating and Hinge. I didn't even go back and forth with him. I was like, what? That's what you want? That's not what I want. So then we're not good for each other. Because what is what? 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 So I'm going to conclude this video by letting y'all know that that was really liberating for me. One, to get the hell off of, off of these dating apps because I'm too good for that. It's like Beyonce being on a dating app. Like, come on now. And then two, I was proud of myself for creating a boundary. And then seeing that as a red flag, giving myself a day. Because my therapist always says, take a pause. So I took a pause, gave myself a day. And then was like, you really just overstepped my boundary. So no. And then three, realizing um, how important boundaries are. And how I can create these in my friendships, in my relationships with my parents, in my relationship with myself, in my relationship with um dating i mean every everything literally just creating boundaries is a healthy okay thing and if people are against your boundaries and you creating these boundaries those are not your people because boundaries are created to protect us and to make us feel safe so that's what i'd like to leave you with for today i hope that this was super informative for y'all because it was super helpful for me to go through this mentally with y'all and i'm super proud of myself and i feel like hella liberated so yeah y'all if you uh, have any questions about creating boundaries feel free to comment them below again i was in therapy for this so like i had immense tools that were that i learned through therapy not to share those necessarily because like i feel like sometimes tools can work for your specific situation but maybe somebody else's way of learning and being therapized is different i don't know i just feel like if you're gonna want to go to a therapy session go to a therapy session don't you know what i'm saying like i i'm not saying i have the answers for creating boundaries in your life but i can just share my experience of sharing of creating boundaries still actively uh and hopefully that can help y'all out so yeah feel free to comment below comment your questions comment your thoughts i love you so much have an amazing day give yourself a hug for me and don't forget to be kind to yourself and to be kind to animals. Love you.